originally when I was thinking about this question, I was thinking, like, I could make it in space or something, like on the moon, something like that. But going into space is difficult. I feel like I'm going to be at my lair a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to go there a lot. So I don't want it to be somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I also consider space and just figured the inconvenience was not worth the the prestige i guess of being in space there's a lot of logistical issues with space with like yeah. getting supplies and stuff so and i also figured i didn't really want to start building this thing from scratch i wanted some sort of existing infrastructure so i looked at some abandoned places like lists of abandoned places and there's one that i found very interesting discovery island in disney world <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> so Discovery Island is 11.5 acres, and it was formerly Treasure Island, and they ended up closing it in 1999, and it's been abandoned ever since. But where, like, is this like part of like the Florida one, or it, yeah, it's in Florida. So it's in Disney World in Florida, in uh, Bay Lake, Florida, and it's you can actually still see it. You just can't go there because it's an island. I I remember going there. I think when I was really young, when it was open, it was pretty great. Yeah. Yeah. So Disney says that they closed it because they were replaced it with Animal Kingdom because it was base is mainly like an animal place where you like look at animals and stuff. Um and now Animal Kingdom's like huge and just completely trumps that. So mm-hmm. they said they closed it because of that, but there's a rumor that the real reason they closed it is because they found something in the water called Neglaria Fowlery. You want to give that one more go? <laughs> <laughs> Negleria Flower Glory. <laughs> that was better. We'll go with that. But you don't know what it actually looks like in words. so <laughs> <laughs> It's also known as brain-eating amoeba. So that's not great. That's easier to say. And it's also not great. But as a supervillain, it is great. Because that is a very villainy thing. This is true. So I'm going to assume that that is actually in the water and that will repel people from coming to my island. And obviously that's like a deadly bacteria. It can kill you within, oh, you start seeing symptoms in from like one to nine days and then it kills you within a couple of days. (laughs) I just feel like, like a hero is going to come and he's going to be like, ha ha, I found you in your lair. It's like, ah, you fool, you've already drink in the water. (laughs) You'll be dead in, well, symptoms will start to show in eight days. (laughs) You're, the countdown has started. <laughs> yes. It's all part of my plan. And a lot of the infrastructure from this park, they just left it there. So it's actually still there. They have like a water park. Um, there's like a dinosaur section. Obviously, they don't have actually dinosaurs there, but like a dino, dinosaur themed section. Um, animatronic dinosaurs? Repurposable animatronic dinosaurs? <laughs> I don't think so. But maybe. I don't know. They have two aviaries, they have a monkey canopy, they have an alligator swamp, and a flamingo lagoon. So all this stuff, yeah, all this stuff is like cool exotic animal stuff. And a lot of supervillains, their thing is that they like collect exotic animals. So that'll be my thing. Yeah. Yeah. I can fill the alligator swamp with alligators and I'll have alligators to defend if the the brain-eating bacteria doesn't work. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> or you'll have or you'll have brainless alligators <laughs> one, yeah. one of those <laughs> one of those two <laughs> yeah so when i decided i wanted to build on this disney island i was gonna say that i was gonna use like disney as the disguise um so i'd want to like theme all of my stuff as disney but i wouldn't want to do exactly disney because then disney would like sue me yeah you don't want that do you care though? No, you, if you're you a still. Super <laughs> I think you care more about more about Disney than like NATO. Disney has some serious lawyers. Mm-hmm. So I do like all off-brand Disney stuff was my plan, um, and I was gonna call it instead of Disney World, I was gonna call it Disney Globe. <laughs> Disney, <laughs> Disney Globe. Globe. <laughs> um, instead of Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy, I was gonna my mascots were gonna be Mackie Rat. Donald Goose and Foogie. Ooh. What kind of animal is Foogie? Uh, I guess. Well, Goofy is a dog. Goofy's a dog, so Foogie but is a dog. It has to be off brand. No, it has to be off brand. So I don't know. Uh, it's kind of like a cat. It could be a yeah. cat. It could be a cat. And his dog, Neptune. Yeah, his dog, Neptune. <laughs> that was my original plan to 
to go um, off brand Disney. But then I was like, why don't I just team up with Disney? Why don't I partner up with them? Because they're already like taking over the world anyway. You're the one who put Walt Disney on ice. <laughs> sure. That was all my doing. I don't really know what my villainous uh, motives are, I guess. <laughs> To put things on ice. You're Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Perfect. Everyone will be in will be uh, cryogenically frozen once I'm done with them. <laughs> yeah, so once I partner up with them, I was thinking like so all my stuff would obviously be Disney themed. And when a Disney like a new Disney movie comes out, I could do like a weird cross pr- promotional thing with them where like I rob a bank. But I'm dressed as, like, their new villain from their new movie. Ah. All publicity is good publicity. That's Disney's motto. I mean, they own Marvel, so, like, I could dress up as Thanos and then, like, rob a jewelry store and be like, oh, I'm stealing the Infinity Stones. Uh." Everyone would laugh, and then you'd actually (laughs) run away with the stones. And then they'd be like, ah, that's fun. And then you blow up the bank and everyone dies. (laughs) And they're like, oh, no, the horror. I I don't need to blow it up. I just take the Infinity... Oh, the the jewelry and they're like oh that was fun you're in too deep chris <laughs> i'll steal the give me your infinity stone <laughs> they're like wait what you gotta be convincing don't make me snap my fingers they also that's have the, what i was gonna say that's the only thing i know i didn't actually see that movie i didn't see the movie either yet so don't spoil anything if you did <laughs> it's quite good i enjoyed it all i know is the memes the memes were also quite good they're also making like a live action aladdin movie so i could be like a live action jafar and I don't know what he is really into, what I could do with him. You go to Home Depot and steal all the lamps. Yeah, I'll steal lamps. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be on, on theme with the movie, so I can't just steal random stuff. But lamps are good. You can always use more lamps. You, you need lighting for your lair, so. Yeah. It's just economical. And if you is had... a genie lamp totally not a lamp and actually just like a teapot? No, it's, it's like an oil brain lamp. It's like a gravy boat. <laughs> Yeah, it's a gravy boat. <laughs> How does it emit light? I don't know why they call it a lamp. No, it's it's a lamp. It's totally a lamp. How does it do? Do you just put a candle in it? No, no. You it's it has oil in it, and you light it like the spout. What's the point of the spout? I guess to to avoid just like directly lighting the oil. You're like lighting. Oh, actually, hold on. I need to look this up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a Segway. wick in the spout. <laughs> I think you you can like put one in. I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> How do you? Okay, so, so I'm looking at an image of one. Huh. <laughs> I, I can't tell if there's a can wick you, or not. Can you find one that's lit? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely lit here. Like, I'm, I'm, this is very unhelpful to our listeners, but I'm putting an image in our <laughs> Discord chat so everyone else who's... <laughs> so you know, we will know and no one else will know. Yeah. So, like, it can totally be lit. Oh. Oh, so that's the part. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So it's, it's like the spout part is where the, the flame will be. Where the fire... That's fucking buck wild. I'd never even like came close to imagining that. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, that's a lamp. That's the genie lamp. They always look like that. <laughs> I like it as a gravy boat. That's what I'd probably use it as if I stole it. So That's reasonable. And if you, ha- if you have any question as to whether Disney will go along with this, they already put like all their like a bunch of subliminal messages in all their movies, like their kids' movies and stuff. So like in their like in Lion King, they they put the word sex in there, just like in the dust there's like sex is written out yeah we're like i think it's where like a sin, where the dust forms into like uh into mufasa and it's just like oh actually for a minute it says sex if you freeze it on this frame yeah but you know i'm kind of willing to forgive that as less evil intentions and more board animators board animators have been drawing the same panels for like years yeah now, the animator said that it was supposed to be sfx for like special effects so that's what they said but i think the real reason is that they just want they're craving evil yeah, they're they're trying to cover their asses. Well, it's a long term plan because you want the viewers, the viewers of your movies, to reproduce more, so you have more future users for your yes, movies. Yes, there you go. <laughs> it's a very conniving plan. Mm-hmm. The the exact conniving plan that I would want to partner with. So yeah, that's. I didn't really go into like what my lair would be. I guess it would just be all Disney themed, but it'd be on the island, and I would be with Disney and creepy. Why would I be creepy? Because Disney is creepy in anything. Well, yeah, Disney's just kind of creepy. <laughs> I mean, it's, <laughs> I'm not going to qualify it's, that. It's, it's a, just a Disney abandoned island. That's pretty much just like as creepy as it gets. I mean, I think it's the happiest place in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's the happiest place in Dosney world. <laughs> in Dosney Globe. Do- Dosney Globe, <laughs> excuse me. Happiest place in Dosney Globe. <laughs> <laughs>